So guys, part 81 of Summertime Saga. This is Miss Kitty 2K. Let's go home. I should go to Principal Smith's house now. Yeah, right. Right. So, okay. Smith's front yard. This place seems way too fancy for a principal. You just need to get in, find the exams, and get out quickly. Piece of cake. I sure hope no one's home. Um, should I go into the main door? I mean... Whoa, okay, this is even fancier than I thought it was gonna be. How in the heck does the she afford all this stuff? Hmm, never mind, I should focus on finding those exams. She probably keeps them upstairs. Yeah, then we will go upstairs. Okay, I'm picking up a super creepy vibe in here. I'm ready to leave now, but I promised Roxy I'd find those exams. She must keep them in one of those rooms. Then I will just check here. Phew, guess nobody's home. Should definitely look around in here. Is that a goat's head above the bed? Feels like the guys follow me no matter where I go. The creepiness level just went up 110%. Should find an exam and bounce out of here. This room looks like the best bet for where she could keep them. Yeah, well, then. Um. Oh, hmm, this key looks useful. You should search this room for a place to use it. So, it must be here at least. Exams. This is them. I can't believe Missy and Becca were right. Crack. What the hell was that? Somebody's here. Principal Smith, I have to get out of here. Crap, where do I go now? F fuck it. <gasps> fuck it. Okay. Whew. As I heard someone coming down the hallway towards the bedroom, I flung the window open and leaped out onto the, b the roof below. The thought of getting caught in Principal Smith's bedroom still gave me nightmares. Whew, that was too close. I'll bring these exams to Roxy's school tomorrow. For now, I should head home and get some rest. And change my shorts. Yeah, right, you must be... have pissed your pants. Hold on, Miss Kitty. Hey, Debbie. What's up? Did you know... did you do any work for the end today? Yeah, I was over these there earlier. You should do and go right. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. Because I just got off the phone with her and she sounds exhausted. Well, she's working herself really hard with that new business of hers. I told her to slow down, but you know how passionate she is about it. Yeah, she has a tendency to throw herself into the work and dis disregard her needs. It worries me. Would you mind heading back over there? Tonight? Yeah, I wanted to take her this pie I made today and make sure she eats it. She probably hasn't eaten a whole thing all day. Yeah, I can do that. I would really appreciate this. Tell her she had a better get a solid eight hours sleep too, or I'll be visiting her next. Heh, <laughs> alright. Very good. This pie isn't getting any warmer. Better move it. Still warm, but I better find a young quickly. Yeah, very good. Hmm, why isn't she answering the door? Surely she's not still working. I'd better check the shed. Mm -hmm. The door is open, the light is on. She can't seriously still be working, can she? Wow, she was nodding off the entire time she ate. It, I barely managed to get her in bed. It's hard to believe all that milk came out of Diane. That's so cool. She's working herself to the bone, though. Maybe I can help her get a better routine going. For now, though, I'll just have to make sure she, her day is off really special and she gets plenty of rest. Can I go to sleep now, please? Thank you. Let's just go to sleep and that's it. And guys, I think I will close it here and step by step make something more interesting in the next episode. So tell me what you think in the comments. I hope you don't get offended if this was too short, but I'm trying to cut episodes no, more um, with a more logic, let's say. So I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. I love you so much, guys. See you.